Hey everybody, Jason from Trendify here, and today we're going to walk through an actual case study of a client I just sold a website to for $200 per month. I'll walk you through how I got the client, how I created the website in a matter of a few minutes, how I pitched the client, and actually how I set all this up. Now, before we get into it, I do want to share with you that we are on a free 30-day trial link right now at ghlfree.com, ghlfree.com. The link should be down below or somewhere on the page. That will give you a free 30-day trial to high level at the $4.97 per month plan. And that gives you full access to everything, unlimited accounts and all kinds of other really cool stuff. If for some reason you get to the end of your trial and you feel like you just don't have enough clients yet, you're not quite ready, you can easily downgrade your account or just cancel it all together and start up a new trial in the future when you're ready. But I want you to just take advantage of this free 30 day trial, it's totally free to get started, play around with it, actually use the system, that way you can see if it's for you or not versus just doing a ton of research. Once you get out of research mode and actually try it, you'll see how easy it is to get the gist of it and start working it and hopefully start getting some clients coming in. So now. Let's Let's get into this actual case study that I have today. And I'm really excited for this method because I've been talking a lot about selling websites, renting websites. I think it's one of the best features to get your foot in the door to get some clients. And with that, I'll walk you through how I actually got this client, which is pretty unconventional from how I normally get clients. So this particular site uh, is for a tree service. And the tree service gentleman came in my yard and I was working from my garage as I am right now. And he asked what I was doing because I had all these lights and I had a TV going and a camera. I said that I'm building a website and creating some YouTube videos. And he said, oh, uh, well, I have a site, but it doesn't really do much. Could, could you build me a site? What would it cost to make me a site? And I said, you know what? How about I make the site for free and see if you like it? If you do, we can talk about how much it would be per month. Just be a couple hundred bucks, but I'll give you a ton of other stuff too. And he said, okay, sure. I mean, there's a no brainer offer, right? I'm gonna do the site for free and then we can talk about hosting later on. So that's exactly what I did. So he started with this site it's pretty outdated it's pretty simple it's based on a, a google free template i think and so all i did was go into high level i found a tree service website and then i created a little bit of content created an easy logo to put on top because his logo looked like it was non-existent here and i'll show you the end result first which is what i created so this is the end result you can see there's some lorem ipsum content on here, which is just the, the Latin language, I guess it is, that comes with a lot of templates. So I didn't fully flesh this site out yet because I wanted to make sure that he was going to want it before I spent a lot of time actually building out the site. So I created the logo. I filled in some stuff up here. I connected his phone number on here. I put the little chat widget on here, which is uh, included in high level as well. Uh, and just made it look really cool. I created this site, uh, this picture in Mid Journey, which I've been using a lot of lately. Uh, check out one of my other videos talking about how I create images, uh, AI generated images using Mid Journey. But this is totally fake image. This isn't a real person. I uh, created this image and filled in, uh, I think this one is as well. Uh, filled in some of these pictures here, just put some general information. And then I sent it over to him via a Loom video, which I'll talk about in just a second. Let's talk about how I actually got this site created first and how quickly I was able to do it. So all I went to is to high level. Let me go back to the templates here. So I just do new funnel, go to template library. Then I'm going to search for landscaping because I couldn't find a, a tree service. So landscaping appointments, do a little preview, logo here. And I thought this was a good base to start my website from. So you can see a lot of these images are the same. I didn't swap them out because this uh, gentleman not only does tree service, which is his primary business, but they also do landscaping as well. And I just hit continue, get this template. And then I'm gonna refresh this screen. And as soon as this loads, I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to, to edit some of this stuff. So I'm just gonna open this up, click edit. And all I did was his company, I put, I created a logo in Canva. It took me maybe two minutes to make. I just put his company name with a little tree icon there, this one. So that was already built into Canva. I just typed West Green Tree Service here, put that logo on the website. So I swapped it out right here. I think I can do this one as well. It's probably already saved in here. Yeah, so that's a little big, so I'll shrink it down 400 maybe. It's right about that. So that's pretty much all I did. I changed this text here. I just, uh, I put their phone number. I, I changed these buttons obviously a little bit um, and I swapped this picture out. And the rest of it, I don't think I touched much of it. Maybe I swapped this picture out to a different tree um, person, but, and then I changed this logo down here. 
And that's pretty much it. And you can see how easy it is to change this text out. So let me go back here, get this text, paste it in here. Probably add a little padding down below. Um, these down here too, I can. So you can move that down a little bit or change the button. And that's pretty much all I did. So I just cleaned up the spacing a little bit. I changed this button out to make it a clickable phone numbers to call or text. So as soon as somebody were to tap this on their phone, they would instantly be prompted to call the company, which is what I want. I'm also going to add some forms and things, which I told them in the Loom video, but that's pretty much it. So the whole website build, at least for the pitch, took me maybe five, 10 minutes. If you add in creating the images in mid-journey, maybe a little bit longer, but I don't think really that much longer. And then I created a Loom video. So I went to Loom. I was pointing out that his website wasn't showing up on Google either. So not only did he have one review showing, he was on page four of Google and his website wasn't connected to the dashboard. So he wasn't able to get reviews or that whole thing was just out of sync. It wasn't working. And he mentioned to me when he was in my yard that they can make $2,500 or more per tree that they do. Sometimes they pick up jobs, they get a couple hundred thousand in a job if they can do like an entire plot of land and stuff. So it can be a really big business if they get a lead. It was a great opportunity for him to take advantage of this. So I sent him a text message, which I'll pop up on the screen here. So I basically put this together and I sent him a text message. I said, hey, Jesus, I just put together a little video for you showing you a sample of the site I made for you. Let me know what you think. Here's, I actually pasted the link to the Loom video, walking him through what I could do. He says, I like it, I'm interested. And then a couple days passed and he didn't reach any, any further out. He didn't make a payment or anything, which I had sent him a payment link. He asked if I could send him the link in detail and then I said, good morning, Jesus. I just wanted to check in and see if you were still interested in the new site. No problem. If not, I just wanted to check one more time before I delete it. He said, yes, I am. I will send payment Sunday. No worries. And uh, send him the payment link again. He said 199, right? And so I clarified I actually had said 197. So I said 197, save you a couple bucks. He said, okay, thank you. And so now we're going to close the deal this week. But that was as easy as it needed to be. And if for some reason, Jesus backs out, it's totally fine. It's easy has every right to do that, then I can just take this, change the logo out and offer it to another tree service in the area with the same exact pitch. And it would take me probably even less time now that I have the template here, tree person's already here, all that stuff. So that's why I love this particular model because you don't waste any of your time. If for some reason this client backs out or doesn't move forward, I can just then move this over to another person. Now, the reason I say we're leasing the site to him is because I'm giving him the site for free. He's paying me $200 a month for the chat widget, for some reviews, like the automated review system that we can do in high level. And I think the invoicing that we can do through high level, which is gonna be beneficial to a tree service company. Oftentimes they're out on a job and they're having to deal with cash or check or figure out a way to collect payments and it gets a little cumbersome especially if it's several thousand dollars with high level he can actually send an invoice directly through his phone directly to the client and they can pay with their credit card right there while he's standing in front of them so it just makes it really clean and easy and all of it will go into his dashboard so i'm basically selling the SaaS, but my entryway into that is with the website he's going to pay me 200 dollars every single month if he ever decides he doesn't want to do that anymore then his site will go away and that's just understandable it's same if you were to do squarespace or wix or any of those other sites if you were to cancel and stop paying them then your website would go away and you'd have to get a new website yourself. It's not just the website that he's getting. Obviously, I'm adding a lot more of these other features as well. But my point is that I love this particular model because websites are very sticky. Once you can get somebody to have a website with you, then they're likely going to stay there for a very long time. It's very challenging or uncomfortable to cancel your site and move your, especially if it's getting leads, but move your site over to some other service or get somebody else to build a website for you. Typically doesn't happen. If you have a WordPress based site and you're dealing with hosting and all that stuff on your own, then yeah, obviously you can change that around. But a lot of people just want someone to take care of everything for them and just know that they have leads coming in through their website. So it's a great model. And I plan on talking a lot more about this website model with a new twist. I'm going to start building some of my own websites as well that I rank myself like local plumber in austinplumbercompany.com or something, probably not, but something like that. I'll rank that site myself. Once I start getting leads in it, then I'll rent that out to a plumbing company in whatever city I'm targeting. I'm really excited to start talking about that once I get more comfortable. It's not, I'm not inventing this, this is something people have been doing for a long time, but I'm excited to get it going through high level and really share with you guys how I'm doing that. So I'm looking at all different ways that I can generate cash flow without having to do a lot of 
manual labor or servicing clients. I want to have the software that we're able to white label with high level, do a majority of the work, but still be able to collect the cash from that and provide an incredible service for a business. So it's a win-win all the way around. They get all the leads, they get incredible software to use. I get the cash flow from that and everybody's happy. If you want a free 30-day trial, click the link down below. Hopefully you guys love the value that I provide in these videos. I love creating them and I wanna keep doing more of this and uh, can't wait to see what else High Level comes out with. I have some really cool stuff I wanna bring to you very soon and I'll talk to you again soon, bye.